Namaste and hello, this is your Sanskrit instructor welcoming you back into lesson number 153. In the previous lesson, what we basically learned is that everything gets reduced to this first column, to the first member of these consonants. However, there is a time where these consonants would become or would turn into the soft non-aspirates. So the less the less harsher the less harsher type consonants, the soft non-aspirates. And we will tell you when that is an exception in this lesson. So a final hard consonant becomes soft before a vowel or a soft consonant. So for example, nirpat ta is the first member of the dentals. Ta, ta, da, ta, na. Nirpat is followed by a vowel. It's a before a vowel or soft consonant. So this vowel here, alabhata, the a uh in alabhata, is going to change the nripat into the soft consonant. So ta, ta, da is the soft consonant. So instead of nripat alabhata, it's going to become nripad, nripad alabhata. As you can see back in the table, the ta again is going to turn into this da. Another example, gramat gachami becomes gramad gachami. Again, the ta is going to turn into the non-aspirate soft consonant, da, ta, da. This rule does not apply to the final hard consonant of a verbal base or a nominal stem followed by a termination or a case ending beginning with a vowel or a semi-vowel. So, but for example, is followed by the termination ending, anti. So you keep that as it is, patanti. It doesn't apply to this. It doesn't become Padanti. It stays as patanti because this is a termination ending. Marut and a becomes marute. And the word kship, yate. So this is also a termination ending as well. This here is a case ending. So kship becomes, it still stays as kshipyate. It doesn't get re reduced to ba, pa, ba. It doesn't become kshipyate. It stays as kshipyate. This does not become marut, does not become marude. It stays as marute. So what you want to look out for to make sure that they're not changing is terminations, case endings, beginning with a vowel or a semi-vowel. So anti, anti stays as patanti because this termination ending um, begins with a vowel. This case ending begins with the vowel sign a. And ship yate, the ya is a semi vowel. So that makes it okay. It does apply, however, 
when the final consonant of a verbal base or of a nominal stem is followed by a termination beginning with a soft consonant, except a semi-vowel. So for example, marut plus bihi, that is a termination that begins with a soft consonant. This is pa. That this this soft consonant is going to make this ta turn into the soft version of the dental. Ta is a dental, so it's going to turn into its soft version. Ta, ta, da is the soft non-aspirate consonant. So marut bihi is going to become marut bihi. So these are the rules and conditions when a final hard consonant can become a soft consonant. And with that, this is your Sanskrit instructor signing off with a namaste.